Hey guys, I want to talk today about an awesome video annotation tool called edpuzzle.com. So once you get there, you have to create an account, and this is really geared towards teachers. You can add classes and um, share videos directly with them with their e through their emails. So um, let's get started and show you a little bit how this works. So the first thing is to search for content. One of the features that I kind of like in this video is that everything's kind of built in. So if you want to search one of these specific channels, you can just click on it and the videos from that type of channel will show up. And so um, if you want to find something in, in National Geographic, for example, you click there. Some other really great YouTube channels that are um, channels you probably should be subscribed to if you're a teacher. If not, you should definitely check them out. And there's just a, a lot of really great stuff. So let's go over here. Uh, let's just pick a, a video. We're going to click use this one. And, uh, you know, the thing that's excellent, even though I'm going to kind of go through it, is that it's all basically shows you how to do it step by step. There's no audio in the videos, but uh, we're going to just go here. We're going to shorten this to, uh, so I'll pretend this is why I want to crop, and I'll assume that I already watched this video, and this is the part of the video that I want. So I'll click this, and I'll crop. And so I can... Are a human part. control. So you'll see, there you go. Um, now, here's the option. That's something to think about. If you record, you have the option to record an audio track over the video, it mutes out the audio if you do that. So that's something you have to think about if that's what you want. Uh, th this is a feature that's neat, uh, but I find that it's better if you want to give instructions, audio instruction to use this feature. So I'm just going to quickly uh, show you how this would work. Now this is the thing that you need to be aware of. If you use this, you need to record the whole length of the video. So I find that this feature is not as useful, but some people may like it. So I'm going to just press record, allow permission, and as you can see, it takes out the mic, and now I'm talking. And again, remind you, you have to go all the way to the end, and it will add your voice over it instead of whatever is going on in the video, which I find somewhat not that useful, because often if you're showing that video, there's probably something there. If it was maybe you're showing off some art and you wanted to talk about it, that's different but often the video you do want to have it, okay? So, um, I'm going to click on the next thing. It's going to upload what I just did, and now it'll become a part of that clip. And those clips do go into your uh, EdTech account. <coughs> Excuse me, EdPuzzle account. So it's loading the sounds. We'll just wait a few seconds. <coughs> so here you go. This is a, then the other feature. So let's just uh, play it for a second allow permission and as you can see it takes out the mic and now I'm talking and again remind you okay so that's what I recorded in the previous video this here is a different feature I prefer this feature so if I want to record something all right guys I'm gonna ask you to watch this video at the end there's gonna be a quiz so play pay close attention thanks okay I'm gonna add another note to get to that other note I'm gonna have to press play and, as and let it see, go to the point where I want it to I'm go talking. And again, so you could put it in the middle of the video. Again, Let's just do that. Add your voice over it instead. But as you can see, the previous recording where I did the, this feature, where I said I find it, you know, depends on circumstances, but I probably wouldn't use it that often. And of whatever is going. So let's do a recording right here. So click that. Now I'm recording. This is recording my voice. So when the students will watch this, it'll play up to here, stop here, then they'll have to click on this to see what I just said. Okay. And so I'm pretty much done. I could add another one at the end here, but let's just go to the next feature. So it's uploading these two. Now they'll be permanently part of this video and they will be saved in my Edpuzzle account. So you have to work within the account to share stuff. So the last option is really neat. The option to add quizzes. Uh, there's uh, open-ended questions. Uh, you could add comments and or um, and you could choose to put it where you want. I'm going to put it over here. So I click on it. So you see the first option is the open-ended question with a whole bunch of neat features. You can even link. You can add multiple choice questions and or comment questions. This is really an excellent tool. So I'm just going to add a comment like that. I, what do you think about, what do you think of this video? Now here's the thing. These questions, when the students will answer them, they go in their teacher dashboard. And I'm going to show you the teacher dashboard, even though we haven't shared this video with a student. 
What's really cool about that is it will show you who watched it, how many minutes they watched, and if they answered, and what their their answer is. What an amazing uh, tool that is. So let's just go with that and click continue. Probably. So we're done. So this is what it will look like. Um, so I'm going to just click uh, save a few seconds ago. We're done. So we'll just go tags. Uh, what is this video? I'll go sample tests because it's really not a real one. So um, here's a few things. Now, I didn't create any classes in this account. So if this was my class, I would click here and it will share it with them. Now, you could set it so that they can't skip through the video. So, and you can even set a due date if you want. So these are really neat features. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just leave these on. You can click Save Assignment. So here is uh, my assignment and I can add a due date here. And it's really important to realize there's the difference between my content and my classes. If I go to my content, it's kind of basically all the videos I've uploaded to this account with their edits. If I want to watch an edit, let's go watch the video I just created for my uh, fake class. So watch video. So here it is. So you're going to see, here are the, uh, the intro we put the pause I put in the middle, and the quiz. So let's see how that plays out. So if we press play. play something. All right, guys, I'm going to ask you to watch this it. video. At the end, there's going to be a quiz. So play, pay close attention. Thanks. Allow permission. Mm -hmm. And as you can there's the video or overlay that I added. Again, I could leave that out, but it takes out the mic. And now I'm talking. And again, remind you, you have to go all the way to the end, and it will add your voice over it instead of I'll stop whatever. here is going here so click that now i'm recording this is recording my voice so when the students will watch this it'll play up to here stop here then they'll have to click on this to see what i just said video which i find somewhat not that useful because often if you're showing that view it's probably kind of odd because it continues with the uh the overlay but maybe that's that's fine so you might want to pause uh and if it's your voice all the time it could confuse the uh listener but so here you go and now is the question what do you think of this video? Answering is not allowed in this mode. Okay, well normally they would, students would be allowed to uh, do this. So let's go and uh, go to my classes. So let's click on a video here um, for this class. Just want to show you the feature that I was telling you that records the progress. So if you click on home and click on uh, progress, You'll be able to see um, and assess from here if you want and give a grade uh, the students. These are all fake students, so you can see this and you can even export grades to your favorite marking program. Uh, a few other things that are really neat to, to be aware of is that you can actually embed this into your blog if you wanted to or even just share the URL. If you didn't have an easy way, you were using some other uh, classroom platform um, you know, such as Google Drive or D2L, and you just wanted to share this assignment, you could do it right through there. So edpuzzle.com, a really amazing tool to flip your videos and allow annotation and all kinds of really cool stuff. If you like this video, please leave a comment and share it with your friends. Thank you very much.